Welcome back to my channel and today we have a really great tricky challenge too and inside parentheses we have 1 plus 3 times 3. This is a challenge you've ever seen, a lot of students might be saying, hey mister, this is the easiest challenge I've ever seen, addition, multiplication right here, multiplication right here. So I learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. So right now let's check our school knowledge, four options right here, choose one option, what do you think is the correct answer to, to this challenge and write your option down into the comment section, we will check our answers here in just 30 seconds, so it will be really interesting. First of all, I want to start with this first explanation. Take a look closely. Here is our first interpretation. So a lot of students told this question like that. We have two and right here we have one plus three times three. So a lot of students solve this question, for example, they start with this multiplication. Another part of students start with this addition. A completely another part of students start with this multiplication. So right here we have multiplication sign, right here we have addition sign and right here we have also multiplication sign. So obviously right here, whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So in terms of math, we should know what is the correct order to do this problem. Because right here, if you start with multiplication, we have one answer. If you start with addition, completely another answer. And if you start from this multiplication, we have completely different answer. But in terms of math, it's really weird to solve this question with two, with two answers. Yeah, it's really weird thing. And for this challenge, let's look, for example, at this PEMDAS order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to this PEMDAS order of operation. Okay, so right here, let's solve this challenge according to this order of operation. So this challenge, this order of operation works from the top to the bottom. So the first step, we should evaluate parentheses of so the expression inside parentheses. Next, we should evaluate exponents. Next, we should evaluate multiplication division group. Next, addition subtraction group. So the, the highest priority parentheses, the lowest priority addition subtraction. So how does it work? We should find what elements do we have in our challenge and obviously the first one is parentheses okay and it's is this is the first one right here in this panda so it, it looks like firstly we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses so first step is to evaluate the expression inside parentheses but inside parentheses we have a complicated expression we don't have like a regular expression we don't have easy challenge with like 3 plus 3, 3 times 3, we have 3 plus 3 and times 3. So it looks like we should find what is the first step in this parenthesis, addition or multiplication. So multiplication we have right here, addition we have right here, and as I told before, higher position, higher priority. So the first step to find this parenthesis, second step from the top to the bottom is this multiplication sign. So we should multiply 3 times 3. And obviously the third step is to add all of this right here. So we have two inside parentheses. We have three plus three times three equal to equal to nine. Okay, and right now really really easy thing because we have a really great expression inside parentheses. So three plus nine equal to twelve, and we have two times twelve, which is equal to which is equal to twenty four. So our correct answer is 24. But definitely a lot of students make this mistake. A lot of students, for example, start, start with this addition. So 1 plus 3 equal to 4. 4 times 3 equal to 12. And as you can see, it happens sometimes. Yeah, we have absolutely correct answer, but with the wrong solution. A correct order of operation is parentheses, multiplication, addition, multiplication outside of parentheses. So this is a correct answer to this to this challenge. You can also check this answer in your scientific or graphing calculator, but don't use your regular calculator because you know sometimes happen that you that you type this problem in your regular calculator and you and, and calculator is a uh, calculator don't know doesn't know what it what did you have further. For example you start with two and in parentheses one. Calculators instantly multiplying you two times one. But if you plug in the whole entire problem, if you type the whole entire problem in your calculator, then your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation and a lot of calculators so this challenge according to this PEMDAS order of operation with, with the next order, parentheses, multiplication, addition and multiplication right here outside of parentheses. So my correct answer to this challenge is option D. Definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you, your answer is the same as mine, you can also leave a like and support my channel with, with a comment. It really helps me a lot. It inspires me a lot. So see you in the next videos. Have a great day and wish you all the best.